What's up guys, I'm Cheyenne, that's all book girl. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have some fake dating romances for you. I don't wanna go, cause your love is what I want, babe. Dude, fake dating is just, I feel like it's so underrated. Like, especially the angst that comes with fake dating. Normally we have a couple who they don't connect and there's like zero chemistry or so we think there's zero chemistry. And there's some type of reasoning to why they're planning on fake dating. Normally they both need something from each other and they just pretend. But like when, when, when you get to the point where the couple is like, well, when one of the people in the couple, like the hero, the heroine, when they get really jealous and they're like starting to realize those feelings are there, that is my favorite point of the entire book. So fake dating is amazing. It's one of my favorites. I've never done a rec video of this on my channel. So I'm excited to share some of these with you. Jumping right in, the first book I'm gonna recommend is Boyfriend by Serena Bowen. This book, y'all, I literally laughed out loud the entire time. It is one of my all-time favorite fake dating romances. If you have not read it, you need to. This one, we are following Weston and Abby. And Weston has just recently, he's well, he's on the hockey team, so hockey romance, hello. Um, he's on the hockey team, and he puts an ad out on campus saying, rent a boyfriend, $25, I will come, I will meet your mom, I will talk to your daddy, I will be polite, I will bring my manners, I will bring you flowers, I will do all of the things to swoon and give you everything you need for a holiday as a date. And he is, he's got swag, okay? He's got swag, he's freaking hot, he's a hockey player. So he's definitely that bring home to your parents type of guy beautiful, successful, comes from a wealthy family, just the guy that you want to bring home for the holidays. So he puts out this ad to make money for himself. Then we have our heroine, Abby, and she is looking for a date to bring home for Thanksgiving. She has a lot of turmoil going on with her family right now. She is in need of something positive to bring to Thanksgiving for the holidays. And she sees Weston's ad and she's like, you know what? Screw it, what do I have to lose? What do I have to lose? And this is where it starts between them. Weston sees her in this whole new light and she sees what it would be like to be with Weston actually. And she wants her some of that, okay? All right, and then I can't not recommend this book and that's Mr. Romance by Lisa Raven. You guys know this is one of my favorite books of all time. Um, we're following Max and Eden and Max is known as Mr. Romance, okay? Mr. Romance is this guy who in the elite group of the city, he romanticizes women. He takes them out on dates. Um, some of them are married, other times they're not, and he makes no promises to them romantically, but just gives them a night of all of like to fulfill their romantic fantasies. So things that they've always wanted to do, he does for them at a cost. And then we have Eden and Eden is a journalist and she's trying to make something of herself basically. And her boss has told her like, you need something groundbreaking, honey or you're gonna be out of a job. So find something good to cover for your story and you will be in place and you will be in good territory at our firm. So she ends up trying to write a paper on Max. She's investigating and there's so many cute little things that happen in between before she finds out who he is. But he tells her, I'll let you write a paper on me, but you have to go on three dates with me to see that what I do actually works because she is very anti-love. She like wants nothing to do with it. And she's like, there's no way what you're doing is successful and is beneficial to women. And she's just kind of like, so this is definitely like reverse grumpy sunshine in that sense, because he's like, oh no, like I'm good. I know what I'm doing and it works. And so like that little dynamic between them was really cute, but they fake date for like three whole dates and it just is so good. It's so good. Max is just, he's so good. He's so good. You have to read it. All right. And then we have To Love Jason Thorne by Ella Mays. This book is seriously one of my favorites. Ella Mays is just amazing. Um, we're following Jason and Olive. And this is the first book actually like in a standalone duet. Um, Jason is Olive's brother's best friend, okay? Olive has always loved her brother's best friend, Jason. Growing up, they always spent time together. He was basically like this second stagon in her family. And they ended up going their separate ways. Jason becomes this famous actor and Olive ends up having a novel that she wrote turned into a movie. And she is reunited again with Jason when he is chosen to be the actor of her novel turned film. So she has to go meet the actor and the actresses and all the people that are gonna play the parts in her book for the movie in a meeting and she runs into Jason again. And Jason is like, 
I have literally been waiting forever to see you. You think I'm just gonna let you walk out of this room and like forget you exist? No way, no way. Well, she ends up being spotted with Jason and there are reasons why they end up having to fake date and fake an engagement. And it doesn't turn out that way. Guys, it's just so freaking cute. I just love this book so much. I love like the Hollywood aspect to it as well. Like. Olive is not used to being in the spotlight. She's not used to having that kind of attention on her, whereas Jason is, but he's so protective of her. Even though they are faking it, they're kind of not at the same time. So I just love their dynamic. I loved their romance. It's just so sweet, so sweet. If you have not already read this, you have to. All right, and the next book I'm gonna recommend is Faking with Benefits by Lily Gold. Um, this is a contemporary Why Choose romance, okay? We don't get very many contemporary Why Chooses, so I was here for this. I um, in this book we're following Layla, and Layla, she is struggling in the dating department. It's been a while since she's been locked down by a man. She feels like she needs some freshening up on her skills. She's definitely one of those people that doesn't land her shot. She shoots her shot, but it doesn't land very well. It's not executed very well. So she needs a little bit of pointers. So she asked her neighbors, who are also her friends, these three very handsome men who she is very much attracted to, but knows like she thinks that they're very much out of her league. Um, they all decide that they will help her and freshen up her skills a little bit. So they fake date. They do the fake make out. They do all of the things that they feel like would be useful to her in order to better make sure she's equipped to go on an actual date and start a relationship with someone. Then it becomes this little why choose romance with all of them. And it is fabulous. And they need something from her as well. She makes a promise to appear on their relationship podcast that they have. So they both have something that they need. Well, the four of them, they all have something that they need in return. And it turns to so much more. This was just so cute. So cute, such a great twist to why choose and I definitely recommend. All right, and then the next book is Melt For You by JT Geisinger. This is one of my favorite books by JT Geisinger and I feel like it's so underrated. I never hear anyone talk about it and I absolutely love it. We are following Joellen and Cameron and Joellen is that girl who is quirky, she's weird, She, but like I think in the cutest way, I love when heroines are that way, unless they're like too quirky, then it's not very well executed, but she is in a really great way in this case. Um, and she has a neighbor, Cameron, and Cameron is a professional rugby player. They are friends, okay, they are friends. Joellen just needs some dating help. She needs some assistance. There is a CEO at the firm that she works at that she is very much attracted to and he's kind of given her hints lately that he's newly single and she's like, I'm ready to shoot my shot, okay? I'm ready to shoot my shot. But she needs some help. So she enlists Cameron, her neighbor, to help her make this CEO guy jealous in order for him to notice her, which he kind of already has but she wants him to see her in a different light. So she pretends to fake date Cameron and in return, she has to cook him dinner every night. So they have this plan that they have going on and turns out they end up spending a lot of time together. So this fake dating thing is not going in the direction that they planned and hoped for, but Cameron is amazing, amazing. If you love like the rugby player type of vibe too, like he's big and he's burly and he's this manly man who just eats all the things and she can cook, she can clean, she does all the things and she's like the perfect mix of what he needs in his life and vice versa for her as well. So, 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 so cute. Check it out. All right, guys, that is all I have for my fake dating romances. Love, love, love this trope so much. Definitely check out these recommendations. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, drop in the comments below and leave me a flaming heart emoji. Yeah, flaming heart emoji. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.